Hey guys, haven't talked to you in a while. Welcome back. It's Dr. Faith, your faithful doc. Today we're gonna to be doing some gut health stuff, some more gut health stuff. Today, we're making bone broth. Because you know what? I don't understand why people pay so much goddamn money for bone broth. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's really expensive. The bones are the ones that get thrown away. So uh, why don't we make something delicious out of it? This stuff goes for like six to eight dollars a pint. You can get bones for a couple dollars and it takes absolutely like two hours of your time in a pressure cooker because you could do this over a couple of days, but uh, hashtag busy professional. I ain't got time for two days. Plus I don't really want my house to smell like bones. Let's get started, shall we? Bone broth, uh, let's talk about it. So, what are you gonna need for bone broth? <laughs> Bones. Uh, I think that's obvious, but you can have like three different types of bone broth, maybe four if you get really creative with different kinds of animals, or maybe five or six or whatever bones you have in your house. Uh, the big three tend to be beef, chicken, and maybe pork, uh, sometimes fish if you're a pescatarian, a Mediterranean diet for the win. Today we're doing beef because I have frozen beef bones. Also, if you haven't been following my channel, I have SIBO, which I'm recovering from and I have to heal my gut. So we can talk about some benefits of bones and bone broth and why you'd wanna use it, but let's get started and get it cooking. So what are you gonna need? Let's get our pressure cooker out first. I use this. I love pressure cookers. Listen, that's cute sound when he turns on. Um, pressure cookers are like a busy professional's dream. Why wouldn't you want that? Also, a person who has a small house's dream. So I got the Ninja Food I, Food E, Food E. It's a pressure cooker, air fryer, steamer. I don't know what else it does. It's a dehydrator. It's a broiler. Apparently it makes yogurt. I use it a lot for rice and quinoa and all that kind of stuff too. It's actually probably one of the most used things I have in my kitchen. And so this thing is a uh, handy. Comes with an air fryer top and a pressure cooker top. So with this recipe, you'd just be taking the air fryer basket out and you'd just be replacing it with the pressure cooker. Uh, I need to clean this. I'll be right back. Real life. So what is, what's the ingredients you're gonna need? Super duper duper simple. I don't have a cutting board. I might need that. Okay, now we've got our ingredients. My refrigerator froze my carrots. That's so frustrating. Do you guys have that issue where your refrigerator just decides to freeze out some of your vegetables for like no reason? Half the fridge is frozen, and I don't understand why. I've changed the settings, I've tried messing with everything. Frozen carrots it is. First thing we got, our bones. I got these from Sprouts, they're whole bones. I know, here's a, a little caveat. Make sure that you are getting bones that have a lot of joints in them, because the jointy areas is where you're gonna have a lot of the collagen. I have three ingredients. That's right, three. And that is the bones themselves, the leeks, and the carrots. Now, why am I using leeks? Because I have to do FODMAP, and FODMAP diet, which I have a video I'm gonna link right here, is basically I can't eat onions or garlic or any of the other deliciousness that happens in that fruit tans category, so I gotta do the leeks. But you know what, to be honest, leeks are delicious, and these are really nice and powerful. So, we're doing leeks, and then for seasonings, peppercorns, cayenne pepper, and I love salt. Now, some people wanna control their salt, so they don't wanna put a lot of salt in there, but for me, I'm gonna put uh, um, salt in it because I love salt, and I can, and I don't have any problems with that. Does salt raise your blood pressure? For some people, it does. Not really all that much for most people, uh, so you can put salt in it if you want to. Some people like to control the salt and they do it afterwards. Very, very simple ingredients, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put bones in here, I'm gonna chop these things and put them in here, and then I'm gonna Turn on the pressure cooker with 12 cups of water and my seasonings and see how we do. While I do this, why don't I talk about the benefits of bones? Bones. Really depends on which ones you get, but 
Bones have an amazing health benefits in general. They are phenomenal. They have some really cool stuff about the gut because they've got so much cartilage um, in them normally that they have a lot of collagen. Now collagen, like I said, kind of spatrels over the gut along with glutamine and a couple other things. Also bones are really high in iron. They're really high in minerals, vitamin A, K, that kind of stuff. So bones overall are pretty amazing for you. There was a study that actually bone broth not only helps with like gut healing and it helps with like skin, hair, nails because you get a lot of that collagen, but also it really helps with sleep because it has glycine in it. Who doesn't want more sleep? I want more sleep. Can you give me more sleep? Because I'd be really happy. Bones can be a pretty amazing uh, source of protein as well as all these nutrients and all these other things. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take almost all of the green tops. Here's the thing with these recipes. I don't have a hard and fast rule for you guys. I just like dumping some stuff in a thing and seeing if it works. So uh, that's my cooking style. Uh, so yeah, you're welcome. Kind of cut up some leeks and then I take about uh, two of these carrots because I like it carroty. Now we already talked about some amazing benefits of carrots. Everybody knows about vitamin A, good for your eyesight. Um, it's also really good for your liver. It's really good for your skin. There's pretty amazing benefits with carrots. Do you guys like the purple ones? Have you ever seen a purple carrot? Love purple carrots. I'm gonna get to chopping these vegetables. I'm gonna use about that much green onion. I mean, <laughs> leek, <laughs> Freudian slip. I really want onions, can you tell? In the FODMAP diet, not allowed to have the white part, can only have the green part, so we're gonna cut up all that green part, and then we're gonna cut up these two carrots, and we're gonna put it in this pot. We've got our leeks and our carrots cut up. Let's talk about some leeks. Does anybody know anything about leeks? I feel like it's one of those things that not a lot of people really talk about or are uh, really that knowledgeable about how they can help. Number one, they're phenomenally uh, oniony, uh. um, but the green parts don't give me gas or bloating or pain with my gut problems, and so therefore I can have them. So they're in the place of the onions in this. Leeks also have some really cool benefits of vitamin A, lots of vitamin A, which means it's really good not only for your immune system, eh, eh, for what's going on, but also they're really good for your eyesight, your skin health, um, and they're also really good for all kinds of amazing benefits. So, leeks, I don't know, I did about like the top of this leek, a uh, cup and a half maybe, and then two carrots, and then all the bones going in this Instapot, or my foodie, because I like mine better. We're gonna put about a tablespoon. I like mine spicy, and that's the only reason I'm putting cayenne pepper, although cayenne pepper's got some really good benefits in it. Uh, really good for the circulatory system, really good for the blood in general. I like cayenne pepper. I like spicy things. Some people can't handle spice. GERD, I'd probably admit this. And then the other thing I'm putting in there is some peppercorns. I like the tri-blend. I probably use like, I don't know, two tablespoons or so of them. Need some more. I'm kind of terrified to go to Costco right now. I feel like everybody's kind of terrified to go outside. So, uh, running low on toilet paper, but I digress. Put all these things in here, 12 cups of water, on high pressure, two hours. I'll check out back when you, when we're done. By the way, I have the most adorable sounding Instapot, a foodie ninja thingy blobber. Pressure cooker, that's what it's called. I have to let the steam thing out. If you just let it sit here, it does naturally release and you could do that for a while, but I'm impatient, so we're not gonna do that. Wow. So we're gonna sit here and let it do its really obnoxious thing. Yeah, so how are you guys?
smells amazing though. Now that it's released most of its pressure, um, you gotta make sure that you get all of your receptacles together. Um, I use a lot of these kind of jars, the little pint ones. I only have three of them in my house, so I have to use these little tiny ones. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna strain it, get all those uh, vegetables out. Some people eat the vegetables. I find them to be quite bitter, so that could be a problem. Also, don't burn yourself, because this is really hot. Let's pour this out. Um, I'm a little terrified because it's hot. It's literally boiling. So I'm gonna take this out and uh, glove up. It's serious business. Ooh, Nelly. I'm gonna get this thing out of the way though. It's hot. The goal is to get it in the strainer, you know what I mean? Um, but what will happen and what we want to happen may be two different things. Ooh, splashy, splashy, please don't burn me. Mm, terrifying. We got a pretty good amount. I mean, 12 cups, as you can imagine. But, I do have to say, ooh, ah, see, hot. Ooh, guess bring this bowl over here. Mmm, I love the marrow. Oh my God, have you guys had bone marrow? I mean, again, I feel really bad for the vegans and vegetarians. Again, they probably wouldn't be watching this video, but if they are, like, I'm sorry, marrow is delicious. It's meat butter. I have it, because it's expensive in restaurants, and they basically throw away the bones. So you might as well just eat them. I did do this with ham bones. Come on, brain. I did do this with ham bones. It was really fatty um, and it tasted like pork. I'm excited to do it for chicken and fish. Um, the beef ones are really fatty and it could be due to all like the marrow. So you will have a nice thick layer of fat on the top of it. So then you're gonna portion it out into your containers and then these can last for like five days. I'm gonna try to do this and not make a horrible, horrible mess. Also, I talked about this in a previous video. Get yourself one of these things with a wide mouth. Oh, just saves your life, man. This is a bad idea. Okay, so I made a whole six of these and a uh, life hack. Put the lids on when they're still hot and it'll seal them in. You will have a nice uh, layer of uh, fat. As you can see, it has a nice layer of fat and that is going to basically solidify. So what you're gonna do is you're basically going to take that layer off. You can keep it for cooking or baking because it has a lot of nutrients still left in it. Uh, but these have turned out phenomenally. And obviously I can't drink them yet because it will burn the <laughs> out of me. So I'm not gonna do that because I just feel like that's a very uh, rapid way of losing all the skin on the top of my mouth. And you know what? I like my taste buds and I like my skin where it is on my mouth. So I'm not gonna do that yet, but I've made this recipe before and it's uh, phenomenal. So what I did do and we, what we are gonna try is some of that delicious marrow. Oh my God. Okay, so I understand controversy time. Marrow isn't for everybody, but um, I'll show you kind of what I made, a little plate with some blue tortilla chips, blue corn tortilla chips. I think tortilla chips are low FODMAP. I'm like kind of struggling my way through this, but um, I'm gonna try it out for you guys and see uh, how I like it. Bone marrow, if you've never tried it before, the texture is like a gelatinous butter, but the, the taste is more like a really delicious, oh, how would you call it? Like Kerrygold or any of those Irish cream butters where it's kind of like a little salty, a little umami. Um, it doesn't taste like liver or anything. It has a similar texture to liver, but it doesn't have any flavor like it. And you can see it's just so glisteny. So very delicious, um, usually. Let's see how this one tastes. Guys, if you're a carnivore or an omnivore, or just really somebody who likes meat, um, you're gonna love this and it's something that I feel like everybody needs to try. I feel like if you have an issue with texture, it might be a problem, but like bone marrow is, is so, uh, it has so many benefits for you. I, should, I don't wanna tell people that it's like good for them because it's not, and nothing's really inherently bad or good, but it has a lot of benefits to be able to ingest it. So iron, collagen, zinc, 
Um, there's a lot of amino acids, which are really good for building blocks for protein. It's a good protein source. Um, and, and this is just, uh, this is just phenomenal. Mmm, mmm, so good, okay, so. What's next up? Um, since I am doing this low FODMAP thing, I'm gonna be doing like some gut essentials. So I'm gonna be doing like how to make low FODMAP salsas and sauces. That'll be the next one. Let's see if I can make it. If you enjoyed this video, please make it yourself. It's very simple. Don't spend eight freaking dollars on a jar of it. Get, you know, save six jars for the price of like four bucks. I think it was a total of 425. I'll put it like a, a total of how much I actually spent for this batch here. That way you can compare. Um, don't forget to like this video if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe if you would like to watch more content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!